previously on Long Cocktail Fridays. All right, we need, need uh, nutmeg, good, need, uh, cinnamon, excellent, and uh, had this. It's almost like this whole time it's been lost. So I don't know about you, but cherry hearing is one of those ingredients that often gets purchased for one specific cocktail and then lost and forgotten in the back of a cupboard for years. So today we wanted to show you three relatively simple cocktails that put that cherry hearing to good use. Now, each one of these recipes hails from the 1930s. So strap on your sock garters and bowler hats. Each one has a doozy of a story. 28 skidoo! First up is one of my favorite cocktail recipes, the blood and sand. Side note, my buddy Adrian Eustachio and I actually made this recipe on his show, Polynesian Pop, a couple months ago. Check it out. So this cocktail first appeared in the 1930s Savoy Cocktail Book by Harry Craddock and is named after the 1922 silent movie about bullfighting, Blood and Sand. The movie apparently wasn't a huge hit at the time, but the associated cocktail has never been forgotten. This is an equal parts cocktail made up of orange juice, cherry hearing, sweet vermouth, and scotch. I imagine that the hearing and vermouth are meant to play the part of blood in this scenario, with the OJ and scotch playing the part of sand. All right, let's jump into the ring. Let's start with the orange juice. Three quarter ounce of our star, the cherry hearing. Three quarter ounce of sweet vermouth, using Cinzano in this case. And three quarter ounce of a non-peated scotch. Non-peated so that it doesn't interfere with the flavor and aroma of the drink. All right, now we're gonna add some ice cubes to chill the drink as we shake it. Also just sounds cool. We're gonna serve this bad boy in a coupe glass. So let's drain it in. Mmm, sandy. There it is, blood and sand. Let's give it a shot. Oh yeah, yeah, this is a fantastic smooth cocktail. It's not too spicy or bitter or anything, it's just a easy sipper, this one. Very happy that this cocktail has managed to come up again and again on modern bar menus. It's a simple yet awesomely tasty drink. And for those in the LA area, it's one of the featured cocktails on the famous Tiki Tea menu, where they'll run Fernando the Bull across the bar in reference to the original film. Next up is another great cocktail that's similar, Remember the Maine. This cocktail comes from the 1939 book, The Gentleman's Companion by Charles H. Baker Jr. and has a riveting backstory. Riveting, get it? <laughs> because boats. The Maine was a US naval ship involved in the Cuban War for independence from Spain. One day, it mysteriously exploded and sank. Despite the explosion seemingly being by accident, journalists started using the phrase, remember the Maine, to hell with Spain, as a rallying cry that jump-started the Spanish-American War. Oops. Oops. So, as mentioned, this recipe is actually very similar to Blood and Sand, featuring absinthe or Pernod, cherry hearing, sweet vermouth, and rye whiskey. I imagine the sharpness of the rye whiskey and Pernod will cut nicely against the smoothness of the hearing and vermouth. Alright, so let's give it a shot. Let's start with the sweet vermouth. Once again, our star, the cherry hearing. Two ounces of a rye whiskey. I'm using a 100 proof in this case so that the spiciness will really cut through against the cherry hearing. And a half teaspoon of absinthe, or in this case, Pernod. Stuff will bite your head off, man. Bite your head off, man. Once again, we're gonna add some cubes to chill the drink as we shake it. Also sounds cool. This is another coupe glass drink, so let's strain it in. Sandishy. There it is. Remember the main. Let's see how it is. Ooh, yes. Even better than I remember. 
As expected, the spiciness of the Rittenhouse rye really does hold up against the cherry hearing. It's surprisingly complex for being such a simple drink. Another relatively simple hearing cocktail that packs a spicier punch with the absinthe and rye. This is always a great recipe to have on hand at any home bar. So now finally, let's get to one of the oldest standbys in the tiki repertoire, the Singapore Sling. Now today we're gonna to be making the Don Beachcomber 1937 version of this recipe. Now the original recipe was originally made at Raffles Hotel in Singapore. And they've been making that version of the recipe since even before World War I. But somewhere in the 1970s, they started to add pineapple juice and grenadine to the recipe, and now they claim that that's the original. However, there is strong evidence to the contrary. That evidence is found in the Savoy cocktail book mentioned earlier from the 1930s, which lists the ingredients for the original version, which has lemon juice, cherry hearing, gin, and soda water. Now Don Beach claims that he visited Raffles Hotel in the 1920s and got the recipe straight from the source. But considering that this is printed in the Savoy cocktail book, it's far more likely that he took it straight from there instead. Busted. All right, let's make this old timer. Start with the lemon juice. An ounce of gin, in this case we're using botanist. <laughs> I spilled it everywhere, sorry. Most of it made it in the thing. And of course, the cherry hearing. Now because this drink has soda water in it, first we're gonna shake the drink and then add the soda water later to prevent a soda explosion. Add some cubes to cool it as we shake it. Sounds cool. Now this drink is traditionally served in a Collins glass, so let's grab one and add some crushed ice. I'm gonna add the soda water to our mix here. Now, strain it in. Add a straw. There it is, Singapore Sling 1937 version. Let's give it a shot. Ooh. Interesting. It really tastes like an old classic cocktail where that minimalist ingredients really kind of brings out each individual flavor. Nice. Although it's not what you would find in most cocktail bars today, the 30s version of the Singapore Sling is a simple and effective use of cherry hearing without the need for a ton of ingredients. So there you go. Three great, relatively simple cherry hearing recipes that you can try at home with that forgotten ingredient in the back of your cupboard. If you like this episode, please consider giving us a like and subscribing so that you don't miss out on future cocktail recipes and tiki adventures. Till then, cheers. I hate it. Went everywhere except for the uh, shaker. One for you, one for me. Probably can't hear it out there, but it's thundering outside. In Los Angeles, it's the apocalypse. Cheers. <laughs>